Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you the switch function. So whenever a switch usually comes in the mind, it gives us uh, gives us an image of the the switch of the power button light. When you switch on, the lights on. When the switch offs, the light offs. So basically, it is basically telling you if you are switching on the light, then turn on the bulb or any other equipment that you have or if you are switching off then do the alternative but in this switch we don't have this restriction that you just have two conditions well if you have multiple conditions then you can do that as well so that's what i want to show you how you can use the switch function where you can replace the multiple ifs condition right because if condition take a lot of resources and switch can replicate it and make it more efficient and also it, it will help us create a new column based on those condition so how we can do that is we're going to say it very quickly and before that a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel then this link which is a live google sheet link is present in the description by clicking on this link you will come over here very and search any, any of my video very easily as compared to looking at each video there on my channel because there are like hundreds of other videos so just to make your experience uh, easy uh, in terms of finding the power bi video based on your interest you can search it over here and click it using the link that is present in the column b with that information let's go to power bi so here we are in the power bi and uh, I am using this orders table. The link for this, this data set is also present in the description. So what I want is I have just very quick and easy to understandable one scenario that we have these regions and the region is central, east, south and west. So east, west, central and south. That's how I remember this. Uh, these four regions, let's say they have four different tax implication, right? And we want to apply and we don't have this tax, tax implication column over here. So we have two options. Either we create a new table where we just have two columns like region and tax and apply it over here there, right? Or we can create it with the help of the, uh, or we can create a new column with the help of the regional. Now with that, we you will have it for each row, right? And then with that, uh, you can apply it, let's say on the sales or uh, you know sales or uh, you know the profit that we are having but profit does not make sense in case of a tax sales really makes sense because profit is after everything you have uh, taken off like sales or cost and everything so I just want to show you or demonstrate you how you can do this with the help of the switch function okay for that I will going to create a new column and uh, this new column we will going to say tax implications that we have and we will say switch so you will see that switch expression value result value result and finally what if it does not able to find any value so in this case expression will be very simple we will simply specify region right so wherever it say identifies a particular region that we are specifying over here let's say for example east so wherever it will going to identify east, it will going to add the tax implication of 10%. So 0 0.10, right? And similarly west, right? 0 0.12, let's say. Um, 0 0.12 comma. Uh, then we have central. That will be, uh, let's say, 0 0.07. That means 7%. And uh, south. South, let's say, 0 0.15, 15%. Okay. And finally, if it is not able to identify, then 0 0.10. Let's say if this is what the condition. So this final one is else. Okay. So you click OK. And the tax implications column will be created here. So West is 0 0.12, right? So 0 0.12 is now present in front of West. And if I go down and see other, um, other regional values, uh, there are like a lot of west values. So yeah, there you go. So you have south. So for south, you have 0 0.15, 0 0.15, right? And central is what you have 0 0.07, central is 0 0.07. So it is working as expected with the multiple 
it has replaced those multiple if condition if region is this then this if region is this then this else 0.102 simple switch statement because it is more res resource efficient so i recommend that whenever you are in a scenario where multiple statements are there see if you can replicate it with the help of the text implication so this is just one condition but there can be n number of conditions and i will show you in future videos as well with the one or two other functionalities as to how you can do that because it enables a whole new box of uh, adding a dynamic behavior in your uh, application so when i will be there i'll show you those examples so stay tuned for uh, upcoming videos uh, where i'll be i'll be talking about that so keep keep seeing my spreadsheet whatever the new updates or new no new videos are coming or make sure you even subscribe so that video information is directly coming to you with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.